Championships 2017, we're here with Formal from Optic Game, and you guys have just come off a hot 3-0 against 3-sup. How does it feel getting the first game out of the way? Uh, feels good. I mean, first match of the tournament's always rough for us. Uh, early morning matches are always rough for us, and this was both of those. So I'm glad that we just got it over with and can move on to the later parts of the tournament where we kind of shine. Just get these ones out of the way. Since Las Vegas, I think you guys now are 28 wins and zero losses in pool play. Um, you guys used to have a reputation as a team that would um, always stumble kind of on the first day. You know, why do you think that's massively changed this year? Um, Seth just started tearing apart the pool play teams and then falling off in bracket. You know how Seth is. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, we just started taking it more serious. We started realizing that pool play does matter and it affects our bracket, which our team needs a specific bracket to... Um, I guess to avoid, like if we have a bad bracket and we just would have done well in pool play, then we would have had a much easier road. Um, so we re recognized that this year and knew that pool play was going to be at every event. And I don't know, it's just been much better this year. You, the toughest matchup in your group, it looks like it's going to be Epsilon. Um, you guys have played those before. You know, what do you make of that squad and where do you think your strengths will prevail? Um, Epsilon's really good. Uh, recently they've been shaky, like we saw at a uh, group stage or group pool play, I guess, of um, stage two. Yeah. We played them. Uh, they went 0-6 in series count, I believe. Pretty sure. Um, but yeah. they were definitely shaky uh, compared to Anaheim when they got that fourth, third place finish, whatever they got. So it just depends what Epsilon we see. It's, it can be a really good squad or it can be the shaky squad. And I think that they are the best team in our pool besides us. But as long as we come out and play our game, we should be fine. Finally, there's a lot of competition this weekend. Um, you know, who do you expect to be? If you did make it to final, who's the team that you'd expect to meet there? Honestly, I have no idea. I don't think anyone is that much better than anyone else right now. I think it's whoever comes out to play that day. Uh, I think this year has proved that. It's whoever just comes out hot that specific day does the best. Um, so there's no team that I think is for sure going to be there. Um, I think whoever is just you playing You almost hot. excel when it comes to champs. I just think uh, a lot of these players kind of not fall under pressure, but like they think they can play the same way. The game kind of changes here. Teams play, I want to say slower, right? There's more on the line, so they're not doing that like, oh, I'll just risk it, do whatever type of type of gameplay. And uh, I think I've always, you know, been able to be like, all right, guys, like just slow it down. We're, we're, we know we're more confident. We're better. Like just play our game, and we'll be fine. I think uh, I think our confidence and discipline has always helped me. You went up against Rogue, and um, what did you make of that squad? Did, did they, so, you did lose a map, but was it anything unexpected? No, nah, I mean, we lost Breakout S&D, and it's just it's Breakout S&D. I've been saying since we put it in the rotation, it was kind of a 50-50 map, but we were up 4-2 and kind of let some rounds go, but the respawns weren't really close. Uh, we knew we were going that, we were winning it. That was kind of like, not our freebie of the group, but just one that we, we knew we'd win. Um, MRN Black we have tomorrow. Um, again, I don't really know much about them, and then E6 is our tough match. What do you make of, E6, of the E6 squad? Obviously, they've kind of been a little bit temperamental. They've been up and down. Um, you know, what, what, do you, what do you see the strengths and weaknesses of that team? So E6, for me, is like the most inconsistent team in the game. They're either the best team on the day or like just an average team on the day. They're never really bad, but it's one of the things where when all four of them get going and they're playing at the same pace, the same way, and all picking up kills, they're disgusting, right? We saw them beat Optic at Anaheim. They're one of those teams that can knock out any team at any time, but... Uh, you know, I think this is their first champs, I believe, for most of them except for royalty. You've got to be consistent here, right? You can't let any, any maps or, or rounds go. So um, I think they're good. I think they'll be our toughest match by far. But if we play our game, I think we can beat them. World Championships 2017 here with Silly from E United. You guys have had a flawless first day of group stage. You know, 2-0 and, and also 6-0 and on map count. So you're pretty much through to the bracket play. Uh, what's your thoughts on the tournament so far today? How have you found your first World Championships? Um, I mean, this is my very first champs. Uh, I wasn't really expecting the setup, you know, to be in the locker rooms and whatnot. So we're really excited to get through pools just to actually like play on the stage. Um, we're hoping to go three and zero total with a nine zero map count tomorrow, hopefully. And we've uh, enjoyed it so far. What have you made of the competition you played against? It hasn't been much resistance, but do you think that's a good thing for your team going into the bracket play, or would you prefer a tougher challenge? Uh, when it comes to pools, we definitely like, you know, I think everybody would prefer the easy road. When we get into bracket, like you expect to play those good, like super elite teams and whatnot. But if you're just trying to get into the bracket, it's always nice to have a pool like ours. Rise Nation look like they're beating Luminosity, which means that you'd probably play them in the first round. Um, what do you think about playing that, the Luminosity team and considering how well they've played recently? 
Um, I did not know that we would be playing Luminosity first round, but that'll be a tough match. I consider them one of the top four teams here, so that'd be a pretty intense first round matchup. Is there anything that you're concerned about playing in front of the big crowd? Um, you know, I know you've played at big events before and you've even won at big events, but is there anything that concerns you when playing in that kind of atmosphere? Uh, no, I don't really pay attention to the crowd for the most part either. We're so used to playing optic, like you don't want to focus in on the optic chance and everything else, so I kind of just tune it out. No nerves here. Finally, having Clears from the team, you guys look like you've got a bit of a bromance going on. Uh, what is it about him being in the team has sort of made, made you kind of so happy? Um, I've known Clay since I was uh, a pro in COD 4 when I was like 13 and we we played together for a year during Modern Warfare 3 and we kind of like we're like the same way so we're just really good friends and we were friends even like when we weren't teaming so it just meshes really well together on the team. Do you think that having a good bond between the players after that boot camp is going to be beneficial for you guys going into champs? Oh yeah definitely like you're chemistry and meshing with your teammates is like everything when it comes down to playing at big events like this like especially if you don't like your teammates or anything it always it's your downfall for Santo you know? from rise you guys have just beat luminosity mm -hmm. how did you pull that off uh we just brought a lot of energy played our game uh did what we should have been doing all year yeah you guys have been very inconsistent um you know at the start of the year we called you an elite team but it, we were struggling to really give you that tag going forward so you know what do you think's changed what's changed coming into this event is it just the stature of the event no it's or that yeah it's definitely a stature event just because of everyone's mindset i think the, our mindsets were our biggest problem uh it was within ourselves and we fixed that would had you done any sort of kind of anti stratton against luminosity to see what they were doing did you kind of watch their vods and get get a feel of how they were playing absolutely not but, I mean, they're one of the best teams in the game. So, obviously, every time like we're knocked out of events, we're always watching them. So, a little bit. You know, we kind of, like, know how they like to play. Um, but, you know, we just played our game. Who in your team really stood out for you? Uh, everyone but me. <laughs> so, shout out to them. What, what went wrong for yourself? Uh, I was just yelling the whole time, telling them, you know, all, all types of uh, hype stuff. So, that's about it. Um, you look like you're going to go into the, well, you're definitely through to the championship bracket now. Mm -hmm. um, is there any teams that you, you're really looking forward to playing? Because I know last year you guys got really far and then eventually kind of fell <laughs> yeah, yeah. to a European team, which was unexpected. So, you know, is there any teams you'd really like to play? Yeah, that uh, Spice, Spice loss still hurts in uh, Bob Street. But I would like to play uh, just players in general. It would be like Cap and uh, Clay just because they always beat us at champs. And I kind of want to get over like that hump, you know. So I'd like to play those two players, so NB and United. Revitalized squad since the playoffs. What's changed? Uh, I get this question a lot, and I don't really have a specific answer. I think it's just more of the vibes within our team. You know, at Anaheim, we kind of weren't all there. We were playing bad individually. We didn't really have trust in each other as a team. And then after that, we took a break and then came back just fresh, like we were a brand new team. And now we kind of trust each other, or we do trust each other, and we trust in ourselves too, so that's helped out a lot. You're the first ever team to play an entire year later after winning champs. Um, no other team's ever done that. Um, do you think that's given you an advantage coming into this event alongside the likes of Optic who've been together for a long time? I don't know if there's any like advantage to it. The only thing is that we've all been here before, we've all won it before, and we did it alongside each other. So we, it's kind of like nothing new to us, and we have confidence in each other to show up at the big event. In your pool so far, you don't seem to have had much trouble. Um, you know, What do you make of the teams that you have played? Um, the teams that we've played so far is the Mind Freak Black team this morning, and they actually came out a lot hotter than I thought. I think we started down 60 to 0 on the first hill retail. So we kind of got a wake up call there, like, oh my gosh, all right, we, we need to go hard. And then we played Elevate, and I think we were playing much better against them, and they had an off series, so we kind of smoked them pretty easily. But so far, they've been, the teams in our pool have been okay. Going into the bracket, who would you like to face? Uh, I mean,. I don't really care who we play. It comes down to, like, our game. If we're just playing our game, we'll be all right. But, you know, playing Optic in the first round seems to be a good thing for champs, so I'm going to say Optic. I'm guessing then you're the kind of in-game leader with this squad. You've got two, well, I mean, you, you could say Temp's a young talent, but he's also got a lot of experience. Um, you know, what's it like having him back on your squad? Um, Donnie's just Donnie. He's going to run around. He's going to do what he has to do. He's going to slay when he needs to slay. He's just a really good player, and I'm happy that he's on my team. And Dashy, 
I'm so happy I found Dash. Dash is like a freak of nature. He just like his movement is honestly insane. He's taught me a lot over the last two months that I like didn't know about the game, and I'm just happy. And then like just Rick, Rick just like I don't know. Rick's just Rick. He just fills the gaps and he does it really well, so it's good. Everyone was hyping up this team. I mean, you have only beaten Evil Geniuses, so it's not like you know that they're a team that have struggled recently. Yeah, um, without me, I know. <laughs> yeah. So coming into this event. You know, what's your realistic expectation for this team? Or what's your, you know, what, or what's the minimum that you want to place? Um, honestly, I, I, every interview that somebody asks me a question, I just tell them expect the unexpected. 